Oh, I didn't write up a remainder, did I? OK. So in the next one, what we basically do is, again, we start with this. And we go to our first term. And I say, Jeremy, does 6 divide? Take off your hat, please. Does 6 divide into 3? Everybody should be taking off their hats. Sorry. Guys, I don't like hats. Thank you. Does 6 divide into 3? No. So then we go to the next one. Does 6 divide into 2? No. I'm sorry. Does 6 divide into 32? Yeah. yeah. It goes in there. Five times. No, it doesn't. 32 is not a factor of 5. No, but 6. But watch. It doesn't go in there five times, but it goes in there five times with no remainder. Okay. So then I do 5 times 6, which is 30. So what you do. I forgot about the remainder. So what you do. Excuse me. What you do is you see how many times does 6 go in there with no remainder. It goes into there five times. Then what you do is you take this term and you multiply it by 6. 5 times 6 gives you 30. Then the next step is you subtract your rows. Okay, So now I subtract vertically. 32 minus 30 is 2. Okay, Now, does 6 divide into 2? No. Is there any other numbers that I can choose? No, so technically in, in math, what we did is we put a decimal point, and then you could bring down a zero, right? However, in like fourth grade or something, you guys just called this the remainder, right? And actually, that's what we're going to deal with is just calling that the remainder, okay?